electric pick. More like eccentric prick. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, um, no, well, I guess eccentric isn't really an insult, though, is it? That's just what I could think of to rhyme with electric. What else? What rhymes with electric? Eccentric. Phallocentric prick. Electric pick. More like phallocentric prick. Because he's obsessed with penises and he's a penis. Uh, that's not even true. He's nice. Nice enough. I mean, I don't, I don't know him, know him. I kind of know him. We should share messages back and forth now and again. Might even have some collaboration in the work sometime in the future. Um, but who gives a shit about him as a person with thoughts and feelings and aspirations? And pets, maybe. I don't fucking care. Fuck him. It's not about him. It's about his artwork. It's about what he produces for me to look at. That's what's important. So let's take a look at some of that. This is one of his books. I say one of his books. And that's one of the the incredible things about Electric Pick. It's just the sheer volume of shit he produces. Um, I'm, I'm constantly blown away. Blown by a prick. Um, and so this is one of his books, Giants of Mexico. I, I got this one specifically because he does exactly what he says on the tin. Uh, it's 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 mega cities with giant fucking bitches in them. Um, oh, I don't like the way you said the word bitch. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. I don't care. Oh, look at that front cover material right there. Um, we, oh, don't get the ass on the cover though. A bit of thong, but um, uh, th this just uh, amazed me straight away. Rockin' Jelly Bean, I always did look, like his stuff. Um, so when I happened upon, because I, I saw Rockin' Jelly Bean like fucking decades ago, um, so, but I, I only really became of uh, became aware of Electric Pick or Epic E P H K as he is on on Instagram. I only became aware of him f fairly recently in the last few years. And uh, yeah, I, I had you know, sort of memories of of uh, that other guy, Rockin' Jelly Bean, because uh, he paints lovely ladies. And uh, so it, it sort of it is completely his own thing. I'm not saying oh he's just a copy of Rocky because he's not at all. He does he does his own fucking thing, and I love it. I love it. I bloody love it. It's good. I love it, and it's bloody good. Go look at go get it. Um. Just, I mean, in terms of illustration, like they're cool images. They're they're very cool. The they're very stylish ladies in very I guess stylish sort of quasi futuristic cityscapes. I was going to say landscapes, cityscapes, sort of neo Tokyo sort of stuff. So they're very cool images. Like it looks like you know that would be good as like a, a, an entire wall piece of some fancy modern bar or something. Not that I ever go to bars, modern or otherwise, so I don't really know what the fuck they look like on the inside. I don't care. But that looks like it could be in something like that. Or maybe just like a noodle bar or something, I don't know. Um, but the point is, they're, they're cool, it's cool imagery, which is one thing, that's good enough. But if you look at it from a technical standpoint, it's fucking pretty outstanding. Um, there's so there's a lot going on. One thing um, I noted right away is, is something I loved. One of the main things I loved about like Akira, Ghost in the Shell, and those sorts of things. It, Jet Set Radio Future was really good for it as well. Um, is the backgrounds, the, the hand painted like dense populated cities in modern day or future modern day Japan. Um, because it's so easy. God, look at that. That's gorgeous. And it's hand painted as well. It's hand traditional. These exist as paintings, to the best of my knowledge. Um, it, when you're drawing cities, it's very easy to just draw blocks to go, yeah, rectangles, grids for windows. You get it. Draw some, some power lines, some aerials and shit, whatever. But... Uh, like those old animes and, and 
this book. What they do really, really well, and there are other people that do it fine, but I'm only talking about this just as a frame of reference, um, is it, every building is different and it looks like a living city, like it's it's lived in, it's got texture, the buildings are different shapes and sizes, the windows are different shapes and sizes, You've got different things, different advertisements on them. Cool, Rocky, super, wizard shop, yum, pizza town, yeah, BBQ, 59, a pirate, some Asian shit. Um, it, like, it, it, to draw a city like that is pretty impressive anyway. Cool. If you double that up with these wonderfully, fantastically drawn and painted lady characters, girls, women, females. Then like his sense of anatomy is really good and, and his sense of anatomy is good enough that he can do the anatomy well and exaggerate it. Perfect example. Not that legs can't be that long, they can be, but the way, you know, the body's little and the bum sticks out and the legs are long and the fishnets wrap around and the light lands on the top and it's like the shadows in the right places the the drawing heels like high heel shoes is pretty difficult especially from different angles but it's done that really well and then to work that into the cityscape with like you know the highways going around the legs and little people and then which is very very well done uh contrast is very important so you've got the sort of dense darker colored buildings in the background and then the foreground very light almost basically black and white and there's a few that are straight black and white and then you know blues and reds and purples giving the contrast just enough so it doesn't get too messy and too busy because it is busy there's a lot of detail but it's not like with the contrast the red in the front like this this car going through the front that's a, a whole solid red which contrasts brilliantly against like the almost grayscale background with the full colour girl in the middle. It's so nicely done. I cannot emphasise enough how much I fucking like this work. And then you've got just sort of solid colour backgrounds with the full colour, really, really nicely painted. The detail on the clothes and stuff, little creases in the skin, that's really, really nice. The shoes, the feet, we do like feet. Noodles, does the fingers good. I like how he does fingers. Occasionally, they might look kind of blocky how he does his fingers but I like that because it's almost like I say with like John Romita Jr's artwork it's almost a guide in itself of how to go about drawing fingers and such um but it's, it's stylized and it's his style it's really really good that's a difficult angle to draw but he's done that well it's just really fucking good I can't really say too much on it without just fucking spooging all over it the colors are good the concepts are good the, they're well, well, well produced. The book itself is well produced. Um, and they've all got names. They're all numbered. This one's 46. Shelley in the harbour front plaza promenade. And here's harbour with boats and shit. She's got a cup on a string. Cool hair and clothes. No shoes. The foot, that's kind of hot. Buildings are really cool. The monkey face. Love a good monkey. Um, the next thing I have, which I ordered very, very recently, which I was very excited about, came with these, um, which are stickers. Ah, fucking look at these. That's very reminiscent of Rockin' Jelly Bean. Maybe the colors, slightly the style. Either way, really fucking like that. Um, but yeah, Electric Pick draws some very uh, risque pornographic sort of stuff, which is cool. We like that, we're in favor of that. Um, so I, I, I need to and will eventually acquire or try to acquire as best I can everything he's produced because it's, it's also good, but there's so much of it, it's going to be difficult to, to do so. But these I don't like these are stickers and they're fucking cool. Look at that. She's got like a fucking monster costume on. The legs, her panties are coming off. There's a car and shit. That's really fucking cool. Like I don't want to use these stickers because I feel like it would be a waste to, to use them. I think a couple, like if I get a skateboard anytime soon, because I might, you know, get a new skateboard and fall over and break a hip. Um, one or two of these might go, oh, I only just noticed you can see a puss with a skirt blow. That's cool. Um, yeah, I think one or two of these might go on a, on, a, on a skateboard pretty nicely. That's really cool. I like, that's a cool sort of like double piece. I like that. 
Nice. Um, and a couple of postcards. Really, really fucking cool. Fucking creature from the Black Lagoon, but with delicious tits. Good shit, man. Good, good shit. I love his style. I love the detail he puts into his work. Um, the, and the detail in the amount of detail, like in the cityscapes, but also the details as in the details, like uh, just straps and like the belt loop, the dog tags on there, the buttons and shit, all the, yeah, like the, this costume, the details in the costume and the car and the blocky little helicopter. Shit's just good, man. Shit is good. So the, the last, the one I ordered, his most recent output, Mouth Vallis. Morth Valley, Mouth, Morth, Marth, Mouth, Morth, Morth Vallis um, is his, his, his graphic novel, comic book, and it's really fucking good. It's actually just been picked up to be published by Image Comics, which I'm not at all jealous and bitter about, and I don't hate fat, stupid, electric prick for that at all. He's a friend. Oh, he's good. I'm glad for him. Good luck to him in all his endeavours in getting published. Mm. Um, but this is really cool. Uh, it's, I mean, it, it's drawn in the exact way he draws. It's all uh, brush pens and ink and stuff, and I believe digital colour. Um, it tells the story of this, I don't know, like a space station on Mars or something, and there's these invading ships, and then the, the Mars troops, which are all these women in masks, these women in like tight body suits with jackets on and these cool masks with a dot in the middle. Um, and that's cool, a nice little detail. Keep your mask on, happy. Your mask coming off, oh, no good. Like a workplace poster. Um, and these, these sort of women troops get in their ships, and they go to sort of they rock it out of their space station um, uh, and they go to shoot down the incoming thing. But look at this. There's a couple of these where it it's so I mean, the whole thing is pictorial because I, I don't know whether to say that first or, or afterwards. Um, we'll come on to the text next, I guess. So this is so good It's because it, it tells the whole story through pictures. This is the ship they're in. That's the cockpit, which is obviously some kind of like, you can see it's an ejector seat. There's like rockets and stuff. Radar tracking systems, machine guns, rockets, different kinds of ammo. It's giving you, uh, you know, a rundown of what this is because it comes up. There's the, the ejector seat is used, the machine gun and rockets are used. So it's like, you know, in a film, you set up, there's a gun hidden behind the toilet or whatever. And then later on, the gun gets pulled out from behind the toilet and you. So it's setting up the story, which is really, really cool. Set aside the fact that it's really fucking well drawn. It's got the same really, really good use of contrast of colours. Red and grey, red in the background for the window. She's communicating with them. Really, really nice colours all the way through. Lots of reds and oranges and it's set on Mars, I think. So... That stands to reason that it's lots of red and orange. The the use of black line and black shadow, black shape is really, really good. And the text. I have official confirmation that the text is made up purely for aesthetic purposes. It's, it's just shapes. And I asked the guy, I asked Electric Pick if that was in fact made up or if it was taken from somewhere. Because I didn't want to come into this video saying, oh, it's this made up language he's used just so it looks nice. Um, and then have someone tell me, no, you fucking idiot, that's based on something. But no, it is, I, I asked the question, he told me, it is made up for aesthetic reasons, so that's good to know. Which which goes to something that I, I praise highly a lot, which is basically silent comics, so comics with no text in them, that are all told through the story, uh, through the, the pictures. The story is all told through the pictures in the book with the text being incidental, if there is any. Sound effects are, are cool to add in. You don't necessarily need them. You see, this is the machine gun we saw before, with a nice cutaway showing you it whirring away before it goes, the, the radar going blip, 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 blip on the ships, and then blah, 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 the shells flying towards the camera as the ship gets shot and smoke as it blows away out of the sky. It's so clearly drawn, 
it's so well put together which allows it to to be told through just the pictures without worrying about the text the text like what i do with quite a lot of a lot sometimes with my comics is i'll add in speech bubbles but leave them blank just to show there is speech here happening but you don't really need to know what the speech is and that's perfectly done perfectly done throughout this entire book of um yeah if people are communicating they're just going you you know what's happening there's ships coming in the radars are going bleep 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 red lights flashing siren you you they're jumping up from their lunch table you can see what's happening they're running with the siren still going off they're exclaiming just saying quick get in the ship strap in this is the thing roger roger ready to go beep 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 click clicked in boom they get shot off out into the open it's all told so so brilliantly and so clearly just through the pictures that the text it's really cool to add the text in just to show there is speech happening here exclamation marks being like blah 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 i don't know i think that's like pull up pull up eject eject Oh, no, that's right. I think this one's going after the last ship because there were three ships. They shot two down. This last one she's going after. And they're like, don't go after the ship. Don't go after the ship. And then uh, the ship, the the invading ship flies into this rock, but then goes plop through the rock. And she's like, what the fuck? <gasps> um, and then she goes, shh, shh, shh. Oh, my God. Plop through the rock. What's happening? And then she's in this like weird between space, which is really nicely painted. Um, I'll have to ask if that was hand painted and scanned in or if it was all digital because it's really really nicely done and then plop out the other end um, stuff starts to get a bit weird at this point in the story ejector sh sheep sheets sheep ejector sheep as shown before parachutes again it's all told so brilliantly so perfectly lands down crash with her shit she's a ship over there goes towards i love this bit i love this bit so she's ejected out parachute down she's like ah fucking thing whatever with the imagined text gets out of her seat takes her flight helmet off and she's like oh sees her ship in the distance runs over to it clang opens the hatch pulls this out and then it shows you what this is this is like a pack like a, a tin can pack containing these items which you can see it's like an oxygen tank, a gun of some kind, food, rations, flares, a juice box, a compass, some sort of gas mask or something. Pretty sure all of these items are used, or at least most of them are used further in the comic. So again, it's perfectly setting up. You see her pull this thing out of the ship, like she opens a hatch, pulls this canister out, and it's going, this is the canister she just pulled out containing all these items. So that later on, when she pulls out a gun, you don't go, well, where'd she get the gun from? She crash landed on the thing. You go, oh, she's got the pack. And for the rest of the story, she has the pack on her back. So it's all, it's so perfectly laid out. Man, no wonder this thing got picked up by image. Like, it's so fucking good. So then this pilot's got a fucking iron rod through its head. Through their head, whatever. But there's an empty seat and footprints going away. Fuck, she runs, follows the footprints. And um, I also love the blurb on the back is, again, this basically nonsense language. Um, and the, the font of the morph phallus fits with that language, the pack on her back there. Hand-painted cover, really nice. Um, so it all fits together, like, with the text in the, the fucking comic, with the text around the comic. Like, it forms its own, like, Martian artifact of a book and the book itself again like the other one is so nicely produced the pages are thick matte printed the covers really nice quality it's got a nice sort of soft finish to it the book smells good so that's cool too there's a fucking monster um so she tracks down the the escaped invading fucker who's also a, a lady in a tight suit with a funky helmet on and there's a chase scene running 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 exclamations text you don't need to know what they're saying you just need to know they're going oh fuck and there's a fucking monster oh my god there's a fucking monster um she's running away from the monster she's also running away from the monster uh running away from the monster and then they're like almost to the point of like helping each other but then she pulls her gun on her her machine gun 
And then the monster's there, so she blasts a few rounds at the machine gun. I love the shape of the gun, the style of the drawing, like the the fucking yeah, the shape and style of the people, the the shape of the head and everything. The compositions are great. And for the most part, only having like two or three panels a page, sometimes just the one, it's so good. Because it's quite a small comic. So you wouldn't want like eight or nine panels per page. You only need a couple. And then there's this big fucking obelisk building they head towards. I love this chase scene. Because this is all drawn as like one image with all these like weird... I want to say Cyclopean, because that was in fucking like Cthulhu and at uh, the Mountain of Madness and shit, or the Mouth of Mountain, whatever. These big like just stone blocks. Um, so it's all one image separated into these parts with, uh, you know, the the this one jumping on, on the blocks and running this way, and this one jumping across the blocks running that way, till they both get to the same point. Um, and then they're on this weird one, and there's some goo, and then it all clunks apart and. Oh no, they're falling. Um, and then she falls down. And this, the invading uh, black dressed women, women, woman, lady, is like, I'll help you up. And she's like, the fuck? Uh, 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 catch. And she helps her up. So, I mean, they were enemies, but they're like helping each other. Um, maybe they, she's like, well, we're here. Let's fucking see what the fuck's going on. Um, this one pulls her, her hood off. And I'm going to leave it there so as not to give spoilers. Um, normally, I don't give a shit about spoilers. Fuck you, I'll spoil the shit out of everything. I don't care. Um, but in this case, out of respect for the, the, the guy, for Electric Pick, I guess, and also respect for this as a, a work of art, as, as, a, as a comic book story piece, I really love it that much, and I'm not going to give it away, because fucking go get a I'll put a link in the description of where you could go and buy a copy. At... Um, 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 what was the clandestinerepublic.com, I think. Um, and like, there's like, this is almost like a, a an ad to subscribe or something, but again, it's all just nonsense, but it fits. And there's Mars signed. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, man, that's fucking good. Love it. Cannot recommend it enough. I almost forgot this. Um, this is the the packaging that this arrived in um, and I opened it up I got the book and I checked it all out and I was about to throw it away when I saw that and I was like what the fuck's that and then it's, it's a little fucking original EPHK electric pick doodle of like this like square box man he does occasionally but it's like a, a gun viking. He's got like a skull viking hat with a gun. Guns just like fucking I draw gun vikings guns. Look at that. It's got the same little shell release bit, the long sight. That's fucking cool, man. Look at that shit. I, I, I'm just showing off. Look what I've got that you haven't got. It's got my name on it. Thank you, that's cool. Oh, thanks. Um, but fucking, that's some good shit, man. Good artist. Does shit like this. Good bloke. Good guy. Good person. Good human. Oh, I'm sure he's just bloody lovely. Mm.